Good morning, Atlantic Coast High School. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance and remain standing for a moment of silence. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for a moment of silence. Thank you. Please be seated. It's Tuesday, February 20th, and welcome to the Morning Race. I'm Michaela Ellison. And I'm Marquise, and here are today's announcements. Prom tickets will be on sale after school today and every day after school in Mr. Kent's room 301. The cost of each ticket is $50, and only exact cash will be accepted. This year's prom will be on Saturday, April 7th, from 7.30 to 11 p.m. at the Museum and Gardens. The theme will be Monte Carlo Casino Night. The Miss Atlantic Coast pageant is this Friday at 6.30 p.m. Let's meet another one of this year's contestants. I'm Kyle Hedgeman, reporting from the Morning Race, here with contestant number six, Liliana Silva, and she's going to be answering a few questions for us today, so go ahead and choose some. So the first question is, what is one thing that you would like to see change at Atlantic Coast and how do you plan on helping to change it? One thing I would want to change is the student sections, especially at the football and basketball games. I think it's like very important for us to support our peers in the extracurricular activities that they do and just seeing more people come out to our games would be a good change. Why do you think you will win the Miss Atlantic Coast pageant? Mm, I think that everybody equally has a chance of winning because we have all really put in hard work and it's been super stressful because we haven't gotten a lot of practices and we all have so many other things going on and just being able to pull all this together super last minute is like, I feel like an award itself. Now, if you could be any character from your favorite TV show, who would it be and why? I think I would want to be Alex <laughs> from Wizards of Waverly Place because I could have superpowers. Hmm. Okay. That's all we have for you today. Back to you in the studio. Attention Sneak Grays. If you need a morning pick-me-up, please stop by the hot chocolate and cappuccino cart located in the courtyard. We are open Tuesday through Friday from 6.50 until the bell rings at 7.10. All items are $1. It's a great way to stay warm on cold mornings. Attention Envirothon participants, there is a meeting today after school in Miss Anderson's room 631 for wildlife. The next National Art Honor Society meeting is this Thursday in room 107 from 210 to 3 o'clock. Attendance is mandatory for all members of the National Art Honor Society. The Multicultural Club is bringing back the Multicultural Show on March 8th at 7 p.m. We are looking to showcase as many different cultures as possible. We just need a few more performers. Do you have an act you would like to share? If so, then come to our meeting tomorrow at 2 p.m. in room 535 and show us what you've got. Our daily tribute to a prominent figure in Jacksonville's black history goes to Vince Coleman. This former baseball star graduated from Reigns High School and went on to a 13-year career in the big leagues. He was a two-time All-Star and led the National League in stolen bases for six consecutive seasons. Congratulations to Coach Klein. He has been named a finalist for the Life Changers Awards. Let's see why. To me, a teacher is more than just being a teacher. Uh, a teacher motivates, a teacher encourages, a teacher inspires. Probably his sarcasm and his way to like, be, friendly, be more friendly with the students than like, any other teacher. He connects with the students better than most teachers, so I'll definitely remember that about Coach Klein. This being my first year at Atlantic Coast, he was one of the most influential person that I met. I met him and through him I've become more involved in my school. I went to the pep rally and I actually led the people in some chants, which was really fun. And he's a great, uh, a great coach off the field or on the field, out of the classroom. And I think that if, you, if you're able to build those relationships, if you're able to do much more than content, things that take place outside of the classroom, like I said, dealing with real life issues, that's when you can really become a life changer. Those are all the announcements for today. Have a terrific Tuesday.